Hello, Gabriel. It's your Black Knight. I'm I'm going into this totally lost. I'm gonna just let you know. Totally, totally lost. Saves. That's how lost I was. I mean, I don't know what to do with any of these guys. He's like, throw him down? No, you got action item on something. Like, I'm not walking around. I'm trying to just get to Bub's concession stand and see if I can figure something out here. They need to get towed. How do I get them towed? Hey, Red Square! Or er, Blue Square! It's on the shop pot! Nope, that didn't work. Is the space machine a rockin'? Can't rock the space machine without hot Bablians. You gotta get us towed out of here so we can start beaming them back on board. How do you get a tow truck? Like, there are literally no more items to get as far as I could tell. Great, we already got stuff from Marzi Kong was tossing these things around like she's got an infinite supply of them. Yep, the concession stand is still there. I think I actually like Marzi Kong better this way. Well, I don't. Help me get rid of her. No hints whatsoever. I assume she's tied up with, you know, the poop smith. Or mixed or fix it. Okay, so we have to somehow help him. Sure wish I had one of those last week when the cheat dared me to drink all that train cleaner. Keep on checking my points, checkpoint. Well, that's not right. I'm carrying more than that. Who can beat scorpions? Boxer Joe? Boxer Joe won't fight scorpions. They got too many legs. The algebras are only good at math. I'm not really that good at math either. Dancing bears? I can't send the performing bear out into the wild for no reason. When he's ready to leave, I'll know. A red square, or blue square. It's on the shop pot. We send snakes after them? I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. Okay, there's, there's, there's shot put stuff here, but I've done that bit. 
We got the trophy, we got the strong... There's nothing here. That just tells me I'm looking into my bedroom. It's Jell Arshi's totally fake nemesis, Professor Pineapple. He can't beat me. Nobody can. Red flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert related substance. Jello. That's for the product placement at the end of every level. Gotta push those units. I'd like to push stupid units. The Jello Marshmallow. So, Creepzilla. This game sucks and you know it. Then how come nobody's been able to beat it yet, huh? Nobody! So, Creepzilla. It... Well, I can't even play it. There's, there's nothing more to do here. I've, I've done all there is to do. He only fights snakes. They do math. My whole team is useless. Can't do anything with Pez's quest until I get probably the Jello. That doesn't work until I get um, Bubs to fix the board. Maybe nothing to do there. That's broken. That was stupid. You won't do anything there, and then this takes us back outside. Like this is. cool stuff in or around my mailbox. I blame Trogdor for this. I go in the build the thing without the gun and then they throw me out. Okay, did I break this somehow? I mean, is there... I need rivets to forget him to do anything. I'm getting dizzy just looking at that mountain of power-ups, ammo, medkits, extra lives, shields, coins, bananas, and... Oh, made me a little nauseous. I'd bet most of Strong Sand's savings that this crate has something interesting in it. Well, that's not opening. A red square, or blue square. It's on the shop pot. We can't do anything here, can we? I can't send the performing back. This key only works on the door to my trog door machine. And maybe any other trog door doors. I think I can get a hammer. Okay. Excuse me for a minute. I've been to the internet. So apparently you can use the snakes here. 
Even though you can't use the snakes hardly anywhere. Okay, guys. I realize I'm asking a lot from a bunch of pixelated snakes with, at most, a dozen or so lines of code between them. Well, could you just sit here on this crate and, uh, slither for a while? Cool. Thanks. And then what you do is you use Snake Boxer. In the slimy green corner, weighing in at uh, 800 pounds, is a crate covered in snakes. And in the blue corner, weighing in at 128 pixels, is the Flatland Flattener, the Asp Assassin, the Python Pounder, the one and only a Snake Boxer. That was quick. Those snakes must have taken a dive. So then we get the light musket. All right, the light musket peripheral from Spirits of 76, complete with photonic ramrod and frequency frizzing. With this baby, I'll be able to blast wavelengths of liberty at all sorts of stuff. Now this. So now. Apparently you can go by the concession stand. There's another box around here somewhere. I think it's this one. That's not even selectable. All right, now I'm only reading as far as I have to. Okay, so I got that, that was like a hint. I'm assuming that we now can go back to the House of Strong. I see a key. The cheat! Did you unleash vengeful spirits into the house again? He removed the cartridge while it was loading and trapped us here forever! So save me! Uh, yeah, us! Forever, huh? We'll see what old Musky here has to say about that. Your gun is useless against the sprites of liberty! Sever its rendering layer, Jack! Deal with it! You must return the items we have lost! Help the colonial ghost and avoid the red coat ghost. Use the right button to fire your light musket. This is interesting. I dropped mine into the bay, and then I invented beer, or something. Why are you video game types always talking lame clues? Why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? We get more screen time this way. Triple scale for each spoken line of dialogue. What he said. Wow, it's an enormous feather. I'm learning so much about history right now. All right, I like the mechanic. Hey, go I upstairs. dropped mine into the bay, and then I invented beer or something. I can't go upstairs from here. I'm downstairs. I used to like playing. Guess who's hiding outside the shower? Panic and rap. Some things. We saw that before. There's one. Looks like a box with a line in it. 
Maybe a lantern? I know I don't want to look inside there, but I just can't stop myself. It's interesting how, like, some of the stuff is still... What? Where'd the painting go? Come on in ah! here. Did they get me? While I was looking in there, I did take... Ah, stupid redcoats. Need a taste of the shot heard round their boon tacos. Okay, we get the gun out again. The boon tacos? So we need another one from someplace here. You can't seem to hit them, but you can scatter them. I dropped mine into the bay, and then I invented beer or something. That's not the item I'm looking for. <laughs> I could give you a clue if I weren't so thirsty. So we have to find a beer or something. We have to get upstairs. Maybe go to the office. Electricity using a kite. It's a metaphor. Work with me here. Can we turn on the rave switch? That's a really good idea, but it's wrong. That's not what I wanted to do. I guess it's still frustrating. Back off, back off, back off. This is where Strong said. To like playing panic. You can't engage with anything by accident. If I gaze too long, because then they'll get you. My single greatest claim to fame is the fancy way I signed my name. So that's supposed to be John Hancock. insured in the event of an emergency. Ugh. So we have to free the other guy before we can get to the basement. That's probably what it is. And he's thirsty. Is where Back off. Back off, Goose. Strong shot, no. What about in the fridge? There could be a drink in the fridge. Empty. Fridge. Oh, oh. crap. 
I only freed one so far, and I can't find ah, the others. stupid redcoats! Need a taste of the shot heard round their boon tackles. Yeah, lantern, but not a beer. Off of me. There's a key. That's for the guy who, who likes lightning. It should be Ben Franklin. The thirsty, that's Samuel Adams. I dropped mine into the bay, and then I invented beer or something. Well, let's try giving him the lantern, just in case there's some history in there. Even if I wanted to shine a light on that, I'm pretty sure this crummy 2D pixel lantern would be absolutely useless. But that ain't it. So, I don't know why I got grabbed there. Ah, stupid redcoats! Need a taste of the shot heard round their boon tackles. Clearly, there's something upstairs I need to get rid of that ghost. But I mean, the place is only so big. But we are in the dark. There's a colonial ghost. I unlocked the door to electricity. Okay, he wants it. That's Ben Franklin. Oh, what there's a uh, strong sap knows better than to leave his books out where I. All right, epic artifact. We have to take it. Okay, I've got no idea what this is, but I bet I'm gonna need it. Can we not go anywhere? Okay. Come on, where's some beer? We have beer. The problem is you gotta keep waving the ghosts up, so it's hard to see what you're looking for. I don't think it's in this room. I know I'm not looking for, uh, looking in the internet's where I could find the other one. I used to like planet. So you click on that, you're getting serious trouble. You're thrown out. Well, he's not serious trouble. Only bad happens. You have to start over again. Mm. All right. Well, maybe it's not there anyway. All right.
saving the load, saving the load, when someone says, can you come down here and give me a hand? Okay, are we recording even? We are. Okay, get off the, get off. Okay, this looks like a shovel to, it's an A-Big tea bag. Okay, tea bag, that makes sense. I don't think that's how you make tea. You have found it. I am free once again. I clicked in the same I place. I am Samuel Adams. Cheers. So now we can go to the basement. Right? There's a key, obviously. It's an old timey key. Just look at that resolution. Off me, off me. Okay, what does this guy want? Even if I wanted to shine a light on that, I'm pretty sure this crummy 2D okay, pistol working. lantern would be absolutely useless. Okay, we have to go over here. Even if I wanted to shine a light on that, I'm pretty sure this crummy 2D pixel lantern would be absolutely useless. Hey, great! My lantern! Thanks, man! I'm Paul Revere! Hey, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, not to be rude, but I got a split. These British people are coming, and I really should tell everybody about it. Thanks again for the lantern! Okay, so we got the lantern done. We have the key for Benji. It's really hard to get him. Come on. Strong said still wash on it. Walk, you fool. Okay, this stairway through the whole game has always been a problem. My CGNU class reunion is in two weeks. I better get working on that novel, and marriage, and hair implants, and build that particle accelerator. So the last guy was what? Up in the, the upstairs, right? Because of course. Man, this is a bit grindy. I'm going to be telling you. Interesting concept for the first couple minutes. You have found it! I am free once again! I am Ben Franklin. Thank you, citizen! Blimey. That's right, stupid ghost! Shoo! Go off and show up as unexplained blurs and mysterious photographs or something! Ghost photography ain't no joke, strong man. You too can take pictures that look like you sneezed on them. Okay, so we've recaptured. Okay, so now we have access to the front side of the front machine, which we know they're looking at us through the screen, and I have apparently modified Shell the game. RC's pro fruit border. The cheat must have changed the cartridge without turning the machine off first, even though it clearly says on the box that doing so can result in loss of data and or the physical manifestation of spectral entities. 
Oh, might as well see if this game is worth the zero dollars I paid for it. Do do do. Wipe out. So, okay, let me see how this game works. Control T to jump while in the air. Use the arrow keys for tricks. Snag as much red fruit as you can before you land. I didn't read all that. Get as many points as you can before time runs out. Avoid the pressed pineapple slices. Alright, I guess we'll figure it out as we go along here. Okay, because I turned off... What happened to me? Okay, we blew it up. All work and no fruit makes gel RC a dull boy. Yeah. Hey kids, I'm Gel Arshi, and I'm in your house. You tired old snacks can... Ah! What have you done to my legs? Ah, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop! Just kidding. You tired old snacks can go to bed. My fruitacular taste turns everything red! Yeah, just join my party already. You think, kid? I'll follow you everywhere! Man, I hate that guy. Okay, so all those modifications we did in game actually mattered. I had to cheat to strike strong one cut okay, of earth. We did that so already. I you could probably still play it, but and now we can check some email. That was a bit grindy, I'm going to tell you. I'm not getting the same kind of wonderful vibe I did off the other one. Off episode 4. This is a little bit more grindy. Was it, didn't I see the cheat up here? A lone space marine against an unstoppable army of zombie elves on the beaches of Normandy. His only weapon? Email. Ahoy, good graphic cateers! Oh boy, it's the Bit Electric's newsletter! Take okay, a whiff, we saw this celebrate one. the Fright Centennial with Spirits of 76 and its revolutionary and I can't get out of it. light musket attachment. The ladder building action of Mr. Fixit will have you riveted to your fun machine. Maybe include the missus with Lady Crate Ape from Bit Electric's for her. Experience the mild sports type gameplay of the Videlectric's Half Athlon. And please, for the love of Pete, don't forget old favorites like Peasant's Quest and Stinko Man. Not available in some territories. And kids, keep your eyes peeled for our collectible trading cards. Probably buried or hidden near you. Except Another I great newsletter. Sounds like Videlectric's upgraded their computer. Singular. The last email I got from them was handwritten on a napkin and shoved under my door. I have a feeling I can't get a lot of stuff on this playthrough because, you know, I didn't find everything before the Homestar broke my, uh... What gives in Peasant's Quest? It says that nobody can be Trogdor, but I thought Stormbad could beat anybody, so my question is who would win in a fight you are Trogdor? Manny. Manny? Manny who? Many emails are better written than this one. Many people have asked me to use the shift key, but I refuse to listen. Of course I would win. I birthed Trogdor. It's like how your dad always shellacks you at tennis even when he's 70 years old. He knows all your moves. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but that beefy arm has no backhand. And his net game is practically non-existent. I could easily take him in straight sets. Oh, wait. You asked about a fight with a dragon that breeds fire. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with some kind of non-tennis related plan to defeat that guy. 
Non tennis is probably good. Frogman! What? Don't sneak up on me like that. Which cheat? Oh, anyways. As I've melted with a soldering iron rust. But bad. Saw this one already. Death. Dear Strongman, I think you have the best taste in video games and are never wrong. You're my new best friend. But my brother just got this new game where you can't die at all. You just get stuck. I think this is boring. But what do you think about games where you can't die? John Platts. Ack! A video game where you can't die? Which no, is... that doesn't sound boring at all. It sounds... Which is what we're playing. What? Oh, sorry. Not at off there. But seriously, what are you supposed to do in a game where you can't die? Pick up things? Talk to people? Talk to people about things you just picked up? Let me be first in line not to play that game. Sometimes I try to die in games that don't even let you die. Like Solitaire. I swear, if I keep playing two cards of the same suit on top of each other, that one-eyed jack will jump out and stab the crap out of me. Okay. At least we got that going. Is there anything else up in here? I mean, I know the next phase here is that we... What the... What is that ghost doing in my picture? And that box wasn't there before. Man, this is seriously giving me the... J -j 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 wow, I never noticed that box until that friendly ghost pointed it out to me. Stinko Man's whole lot cooler robot boots. Now I can totally fly around in space in cool action poses. Okay. And yes, I did find that on the internet to find out what to do. So, is it? See, there's only one closet door here, and we know what happens. So let us teleport. Oh, that one's gone. We can't go back into the video game anymore. That's because he's with us. But we can go back to here. Dost thou have yon answer for mine riddle? What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? Okay, so I did read a good bit on the internet. Step aside, pudding snacks. I'm on the loose and I'm bursting with red fruit like flavor. Uh, yeah. So now if we do the code wheel. We're going to have to get this up to Paul Revere. Match him. Answer. No, Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. So, dost thou have yon answer for mine riddle? What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? I've got the answer to that riddle. Layeth it on me. Not Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. That is correct. Welcome to the realm of peasantry. New game! There's a box. Check this place out! I'm in a video game! Oh man, does that mean I can bash stuff with my head to find coins? Ow! Guess not. Voip! Oh no, what happened? 
That wasn't what I wanted. Load PQuest, comma eight, comma one. Yeah, that's kind of how it was. I just want to get that box. Hi, Trog Man. Did you find the Trog Sword and kill Trog Door yet? No, I didn't. I mean, you're still in that window, right? Hey, are you eating? Yeah, those food just lying around all over it here. Bananas, turkey legs, cherries, power dots. I'm going to ignore that. Now, who in here is going to tell me how to kill Trogdor? I don't know. I never played this game. But I'm sure there's a cave or volcano or lair around here somewhere. There usually is in this kind of game. That's the ham. Gotta go. I just want the box. That's weird. It's perfectly normal to see cardboard boxes filled with weird things scattered around all over the field back home. But in peasantry? Bad <coughs> elf boots. I hope I don't have to press right arrow to start walking and then press right arrow again to stop walking when I wear these things. Well, let's talk to Rather Dashing. Hey, it's Rather Dashing, star of Peasant's Quest. Looking blocky and pixely as ever, Raz. Say, I always wanted to ask, what's up with the short pants? These things are incredibly comfortable. I'd like to see you get rock or throw baby while wearing long pants. Fair enough. Hey, I need your help. I need you to help me find some kind of special sword and kill Trogdor so I can keep Homestar from popping up on my face all the time. Congratulations. You are a free MP3 player. Click here for low, low weights. Trogdor? I'm not going anywhere near that dragon. Hasn't anyone told you? He's indestructible. Not even the mighty Trog Sword can smite him. That's not what I heard. You must have been doing <coughs> it wrong. I suppose it's possible that I was simply smiting him in the wrong spot. Tales have been told about weak spots in the beast's scaly armor, but I've never seen any. Where can a peasant brother lay his hands on a trog sword? I got trog doors to smite. Well, normally it's on display at the inn, right here in Peasantry. But recently, a strange burst of energy swept the sword away to a foreign land of floating platforms and slightly higher resolution. Soon after, another stranger looking quite a bit like yourself visited Peasantry asking each of us for a challenge. Wait, no. Stinko Man? My favorite Japanese cartoon video game version of me? I love that guy! He desired a challenge, so I sent him on a quest to retrieve our sword back from whatever strange realm it ended up in. I assume he's still there, for he has not yet returned. Hey, why don't you come with me to kill Trogdor? I could use someone as kindling, I mean, a distraction, while I slay the beast. Sorry, but I'm no longer in the dragon slaying business. Getting burninated over and over again is not a very rewarding career path. And it hurts. Real bad. So I've shifted my focus to princess saving. Yeah? How's that going for you? Honestly, business has been a bit... slow. I've yet to meet a single damsel in distress. It's the king of town. The king of town? How'd he end up in peasantry? Roar! Growl! That's no king of town. That's the dreaded Munchox the Devourer. Ah! It's too terrible! Well, come on. He's not that scary. Not him. You trying to pronounce devourer. Okay. Mysterious pixel. Okay. Aha! I 
Garten! Um, whatever this is supposed to be. Another ghost in the frame? And that's how we get boxes. I wonder what's in that box the ghost wanted me to find. It's the box for Spirits of 76. A dire message from beyond the grave, or an attempt at cross-video game marketing synergy. Expert opinion is divided. Concur. There's a door. That must be that scorpion monster's cave. I don't want to know what kind of low-res horrors he keeps locked away in there. That must be that scorpion keeps locked away in there. Can we shoot other things? Can we shoot? Roar! Roar! Oh, crap. Good thing I always ignore the text in these games. Otherwise, that box might discourage me. You've already done the joke where it's a game where you can't die. The flask. Oh, I can't get ye flask. It's a good graphic Katir collector's card. Anti-social Angus. I guess that's funny. Almost. Maybe. No, not at all. Ye oldie crate. There aren't supposed to be crates in peasantry. Must be a memory leak or something. Okay, so can we use the same method? Snakes on a box? Level four spell of snake summoning! Huzzah! And then... Smash crate. What do you want to smash the crate with? A snake boxer. Cool, an all-purpose med kit. With this, I can cure the sick and heal the lame. Maybe even the ultra-lame like Strong Side. Hi, decrepit old person. Hello, youngster. What can I do for you? What's with that ye flask over there? You probably wish you could get that. Well, yeah, I do now. What do you need ye flask for anyway? I don't know. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Just pick up all the crap that's lying around hoping it'll be useful for some stupid thing later? Uh, you can't get ye flask. Okay, fine. I'm just saying. Don't leave ye flask just lying around in plain view if you don't want people trying to pick them up. It's not cool. Maybe that's a joke. This place is awesome. If I ever open up a bed, breakfast, and biker bar, it'll look just like this one. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. The inn itself doth make little money. That's why I had to open a carriage tow and repair service as well. Should you need a carriage repaired, just come see me. Are you serious? Um... Hey, I got a job for you. Huzzah! So where is this carriage? Uh, it's pretty far away from here. As far as the peasantry woods? You better just come with me. Okay. That That's a little bit of a stretch. Should I have talked to him about the other things first? Now I gotta find a place for the peasantry inn on my map. Yeah, I have a feeling I, I missed a couple of things here because this isn't going to end well for him, probably. I'm going to use him, and then it's not going to be, then he's going to be, I'm not going to get to talk to him again. I should have asked about the sword and the this and the that and the other thing and the thing with the other thing and the. Still! What am I supposed to do with this? This isn't like any carriage I've ever seen. Oh, come on. 
It's a space carriage. That's the best kind of carriage. Ah, what do I know? I'm just a simple peasant. Pyrotechnics! Well, all right! Just point us at the Babelians and let us do our thing! Uh, what type Babelians you guys looking for, anyway? Hey, man, limousine don't discriminate. We'll beam up any type of lady who wants to party! We're ranked up, but... Okay, do we, do we, do we lose? See, now we've lost the innkeeper. We'll never know what his thoughts were on the sword. Oh, well, let's just teleport. This is not going to be a hundred percent, and I'm disappointed. My hair metal rockers! Be free! Moderately hot Babelian off the port bow! Oh crap! It's that crazy chick from the Battle of the Bands! Ow! Stop throwing those grapes, pretty mama! Ow! Thought she'd never leave! There you go, strong bab! Just stick that back in the machine and you can play whatever game you want! Even those crazy foreign type games. Ta-ta! Oh, Star! I thought once you fixed that thing, I'd be rid of him for good. Ain't gonna be that easy. As long as Trump Door's out running around burning everything up, the machine can't be fixed. You're gonna have to take him out old school style. We're talking medieval old school. Eh, uh, do you ask you me? Just do a mic. Now I'm gonna see if I can hitch a ride on that Babelian space bus. Wait up, guys! Which is not a bad plan. I still have a pixel, don't I? Quest thingy. Can we use the med kit to help? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's try and stick with the linear path here. Now I want to be the guy too. <laughs> Step aside, coming hey, through, you! Whoa! I just got an extra life! I must be even more bodanical than I thought! What the... What am I doing down here? I'm supposed to be up there where all the runny, jumpy, shooty action is! Hey, be quiet down there! I'm right in the middle of a challenge! Hey, bad guys! Check out these moves! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Do we do anything here? That shockwave must have hit the video games harder than I thought. Everything's broken. Well, there's the sword. The trog sword is here, but I'll never be able to reach it stuck down here in the UI. I don't think this ridiculous quest item is going to be of any use to anyone but Strong Sad. I can't send the performing bear up. Okay. Nah. Can't shoot. I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. 
Being in the video game really makes you appreciate what the level one monsters have to go through. Stinko Man's still at full energy. That's right. I ate an energy bar for breakfast that gave me the energy bars I need for the rest of the day. Stinko Man's. That's right. I ate an energy bar for breakfast that gave me the energy bars I need for the rest of the day. Well, what am I supposed to do here? That doesn't need healing. I hope you guys don't mind a long wait. When I get up there, I'm taking it all the way to level 50. Level 50 with your giant head and tiny mouth? <laughs> no way! We won't be waiting long. Stinko man, still it! That. So at least we can get out. I don't know that we can do anything else. Let's see, if we go to the half path on, can we heal? I can really heal the leg. Why did I put in those things? That feels great. Tell you what, though, that'll teach me to carry around this ball of scorpion food in my back pocket. Hey, strong bed. Great day for a half athlon. Why were you carrying a big ball of scorpion food? To seed the track, obviously. Can't have a proper half antelon without a pack of ravenous scorpions now, can you? What did you do to the track, coach? Ain't it grand? I've been trying for years to get the host of Vitelectric's half antelon. And it's finally come true! Uh, do you need another med kit, coach? Maybe something to come down off the last one? <laughs> that bright light in the sky was a signal. I knew it was my duty to recreate the half athlon, right down to the lava pit and ice level. Hey, uh, strong bed. Great day for a half athlon. There's more than one tox here. How does this half athlon work anyway? It's easy. You just gotta activate that first checkpoint, swing over the lava pit, navigate the chicane through the angry scorpions, get through the arctic blasts and kill our penguins, and pick up the trophy. If you can get that trophy back to the checkpoint, you win! You win what? Uh, I don't know. But the winner is you! That's gotta be good. How does this? Hey, okay. Uh Okay, well, we already got the trophy. Sure wish I had one of those last week when the cheat dared me to drink all that train cleaner. Keep on checking my points, checkpoint. We'll do it again. So maybe, uh, maybe we need some scorpion food. the obligatory ice level. Less friction, more penguins. Oh, 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 oh. Scorpion food. Hmm. Man, those scorpions are really homed in on this stuff. Good thing there's an ice level between us. Scorpions are nasty. I almost got killed out there. Actually, 
You did. Get out of town! Yup, the big sleep. The dort nap. The wild Doink. shimmy. Lucky for you, this video game checkpoint brought you back to life. Sweet! I'm immortal! But what about all my cool stuff? You can't take it with you. You only get to keep the stuff you had at the last checkpoint. Crap! So I don't have the scorpion stuff. Ah, the obligatory lava level. Well, I don't have a need for them yet. It's gonna be a challenge, but there's gotta be room for Stinko Man 20XT6 somewhere on here. Let's go back to the peasantry forest for a bit. And the innkeeper has been completely burninated. I still can't get ye flask. I think that inn might get more business if it had a functioning door. Nothing worth seeing in there anyway. You shall not pass! Hey, I'm trying to find... Excuse me, I... Hey, you! Drogdo Slayer looking for help! Ah! Hark! Who goes there? Leave this place now, lest I, the evil wizard Slushfund, be forced fund? to cast an evil spell on you! Slush uh, I think they mixed up your order at the costume palace, prom queen. They must have made a mistake. It's fate! I was sitting in my room alone. As always. When a blinding flash of light knocked me off my feet. I woke up here in the land of peasantry, obviously dressed as a powerful evil wizard. Step aside, little, uh, sister. Strongbad's got a trog door to smite. No way! What? I am evil wizard Slushfund, bouncer of Trogdor's lair. And you're not on ye guest list. So, who exactly do you think you are? As I told you, puny knight, I am the evil wizard, Slushfund. Yes, of course. Evil <laughs> wizard. What? I uh, hate to break it to you, Slosh Fiend, but you're clearly a princess. No, I'm not. I'm an evil wizard. Just look at my wizard hat. Oh, your evil wizard hat? You mean the one that is big and sparkly? I don't care what you say. I'm an evil wizard. It's my job to guard this lair and give out quests. Okay, princess quest giver. Hit me with your best quest. Very well. You must venture deep into the forbidden forest and retrieve thy amulet of ancient summoning from the ravenous Munchox. And what do I get in return? First, bring me the item. Then we'll talk about your reward. Okay, we, we have to, we have the item, but we don't have the sword. Hey, Stinko Man! What do you want? Hey, how do I get up there? I need that sword. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you couldn't handle that sword. I'm going to get that sword for myself just as soon as I'm finished toying with these guys. Come on, man. That's so not cool. <laughs> One day you'll get your baby turn for babies who have a turn. Cool, cool robot boots. I know, I know, I know. They make me jump it real high. Plus, all the girls think I'm a boy. But I think they all need to grow up. And I can kick. Okay. Man, shut up. 
You shut up. You're dumb. And your head is wide like the river. You have the river head. <laughs> Why did I call you Stinko Man? Seems a little harsh. Why do they call you Dumb Face? Um, they don't. Is it because your face is dumb and at the same time you have a dumb face? No one calls me that. <laughs> Maybe they should call you Dumb Butt Face because your face and your butt are both dumb! <laughs> Robots! <laughs> Stinko Man it is! Check out that pinchy guy! That guy looks awesome! I'd hate to get caught in his grip! Ooh, George! <laughs> that guy is so dumb! Ha <laughs> ha, dumb ha! He is a dumb! Well, what about that guy shooting at you? He looks like he could really mess you up, man. Yeah, he wishes on his birthday. George and Brown Tent are level one enemies. They don't offer a significant challenge. Those guys are too slow, too predictable, and too not powerful enough to stop me. I better stop talking to you while I still think you're somewhat cool. Hey, up there! What? Who said that? Me, down here! Hey, I gotta tell you something! Did you know that Stinko Man makes fun of you behind your back? Oh, of course I know. I mean, have you listened to the guy for more than ten seconds? He's got the brain power of a first grader at nap time. But despite my college education and middle class upbringing, daytime TV has somehow gotten its hooks into me and made me a sucker for gossip. So what's he saying about me? He said you weren't powerful enough. Uh, are you serious? Last week I hit that guy with one shot, knocked him off a ladder and left him crying for Stinko Mommy. Ain't that right, George? One shot! I saw it! He says you're too predictable. Really? This for Mr. Run to the right and shoot. Whatever. So basically we just have to get these guys aggravated? He said you were too slow. What, you mean like moving too slow or shooting too slow? Because if it's moving too slow, well then yeah, I, I agree with him. I basically just sit here and shoot. I guess I could shoot faster though. I'll give that a shot. No pun intended. Hey, Pinchy! Hey, you aren't supposed to talk down there. And don't call me Pinchy. I do have a name, you know. George! Forget that. I got something important to say. You see that sword over there? Why don't you just clamp onto it and bring it over here for me? No, sorry. I can't. I'm only supposed to hurt you guys, not help. Well, you're certainly doing a bang-up job of not helping. Hey, come on, man. That's not fair. I got a job to do here, you know? Okay. Now we do the so, same. I was just talking, that's the go man guy, and he told me he thinks you guys are wussies. What? Ooh, when I get a hold of him, he'll wish he was never born. What did he say exactly? He said you were too slow. Too slow? I'll have you know I took second place for regional sprinting in junior high. His words, not mine. I'm plenty fast. Forget him, man. He says you're too predictable. Seriously? Aw, oh, man, now I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Just going back and forth all the time. Well, maybe if I change up my moves a bit, like this? Take that, pattern recognition! Hey, what is going on here? You guys are ganging up on me! Too predictable, huh? And too slow? Well, how do you like us now? Hey, you guys are cheating! No fair! Cheers! You made my stomach hurt! Hey, that was pretty good. Did you alter your pattern? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, well, how about you, huh? I saw that rapid-fire action. Pretty sweet. Thanks. Hey, you want to take off early? Get some cold ones? I'm so freaking lootly! Yes!
Okay, well, how do I jump? Looks like we're going to have to jump. Oh, I'm here. It's broken. Hey, Strong Bad, why don't you just jump down? Uh, because I prefer to use the ladder. Is it because of your tiny legs? No. I mean, I could probably just do a quadruple fudge backflip and land on my feet. But I don't want to. Someone put that ladder there for a reason, and I'm going to use it. But it's broken. Then I'll fix it. Now go away. Okay, tiny legs. Well, I want to go over here. Okay, wait a minute. If we had a way of fixing the ladder and fixing the broken platform. Still broken. We need Mr. Fix It. Quest, comma eight, comma one. Was there something up in here? I'm trying to remember where I. I'm doing more internet. Where do I get rivets? I'm looking at things. Okay, I tried to click on this stuff before. What the CGA are these things? I'm gonna guess pebbles or chicken feet, ball bearings. So now I'm thinking they're rivets, but not really rivets, but we can give it a shot. Uh, mister, I think I found some rivets. At least I think they're rivets. I guess they could be grapes or nickels. All it said was that we could need them later. Cool, so, so you'll join my party? That's what I'm talking about. So now we have a miss to fix it. Now I haven't read this part, but we're gonna guess. Use Mr. Fix It. Okay, Mr. Fix It. So, we will use Mr. Fix It on the broken platform. There you go, Mr. Fix It. Work your magic. Nice work! Hey, how much would you charge to build a 200-foot wall around Marzipan's house? Three dollars? That's great! Oh, never mind. We're getting close here. One more time! Aha! By the power of EGA! 
Extended memory management! Blaster interrupt six! Hold and modify! And the mighty mode eight! The power of the trunk sword is mine! Yeah, you got the sword! Now you can slay the dragon! More importantly, I'll be able to keep you from popping up and interrupting all my future scheduled makeout sessions! Uh, I've got access to your online calendar in here, and I don't see any scheduled makeout sessions. Just pedicures and bubble baths. Yeah, that's code for makeout session. Just get out of here and quit touching my stuff. The fabled drug sword is mine! It's a good thing the portal followed me in here, or I might be stuck in this lame opening level forever. So we have to go back down. Okay, back to peasantry. I think I'm going to do this all in one video, guys. Well, Road, two videos. Bequest, comma, eight, two videos, comma, one. Where did the why drag it out phase of things? Although this apparently could use a replay. This might have the, the quality that... You can't really get the full enjoyment of it until you get past the figuring out the grindy aspects of it. Kind of like the early Fallout games. I think that inn might get more business way. I didn't click on it. You shall not pass! Okay, Princess Salad Fork. <laughs> that doesn't even sound anything like Slush Foon. I got that quest item that I don't actually remember what it's called. Now let's talk reward. Um, are you sure this is the quest item? Of course. It looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold, the quest item is recovered. Thank you, brave adventurer. You've done such a fantastic job that I shall reward you with another quest. Are you serious? Return to the realm of the Munchaks and bring forth to me the Sigil of Dark Dampening. This better be worth it, Lady dumps -a -lot. That's the same I'll thing. give you a dollar if you stop for a second. Nothing? You're lost, man. Help! Ah! Okay, this is a little grindy, which might be the joke. We got another one. is supposed to be. What if this goes on in like an infinite loop and it's really just a joke? Roar! Oh, oh, oh crap! Good thing I always ignore the text in these games. Otherwise that box might discourage me. And we walk back to get the in on the uh, the map. Be easier. I don't think so. I think it's all just peasantry. Abandon hope, all ye who. Hey, what was that stupid thing you wanted me to get? <sighs> Behold the quest item. 
Oh, yeah, that thing. Here. Well done, brave sir. Now let's say you give me a real reward this time. But of course, your reward this time is another quest. The quest for the shimmering trinket of endless bargain hunting. You don't actually have a reward, do you? Experience is so much more valuable than mere loot. Really? Wow, I'm so lucky to have the opportunity to get useless crap for you over and over! The Trog Sword won't work on anything but the Trog Door. Well, how can we get past him then? Let's see. None shall pass! Cut it out, Lord Dumpish! I got some dragon to derez. I can't let you do that, strong bad. Flaming grasp. Hey, quit it! I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. What about the math guys? The algebras are only good at math. That doesn't do anything. That didn't do nothing either. I can't send the perform. Okay. Maybe someone else we can talk to. I haven't interneted. By the way, love the reference to the Sword of Omens there. All right, do you have do you haven't watched Thundercats? If you're if you're interested in this, you know what Thundercats is. They know that. Hey, Pixel Man! My name and physical appearance are rather dashing. Hey, I think I found a princess for you. She's right out in front of the path to Trogdor's lair. Oh yes. Her. She's one I can't exactly sweep off her feet, eh? Uh, fortunately, she doesn't appear to be in any sort of peril. Thank goodness. Come on. Obviously, she needs saving from the all-ye-can-eat buffet. I think it may be the other way round, good sir. Touché. Okay, so how do I put him in peril? Before, when you were talking? I wasn't paying any attention, Sorg. The one you quelled, well, Platy done! So some of this... Can we beam to the end? We can. Okay, good. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here! Seriously, let me into Trogdor's lair. I will guard this lair until my second or third to last breath. Hey, Trogbad, I found a screw in here. You know what it's for? Uh-oh. Uh, don't worry, SB. I'll get that fixed right up. I really gotta get in there. Well, you'll have to get past me first. Hmm. So, evil wizard smush friend. Come to terms with your feminine side yet? That's Slushfund, and I'm a wizard, not a princess. That's not what the town folk say. What town folk? Like everybody, man. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Well, if anybody tries to get past me in the Trogdor's lair, they'll find out what a powerful wizard I really am. Okay, wizard, let's see some magic. I'll not waste my powers entertaining you. That's what I thought. I'll just be scooching on past you now. Oh, yeah? Magic missile! Whoa, it's warm. Feels like I've been hit with, like, 
a microwave breakfast sausage or something. Princess! Wizard! Princess! Wiz Princess! I got this! So, evil wizard smush friend, come. That slush wound! Uh, what town? Like ever. Well, I am. Forget it, man. Those guys are stuck up. Just silk scuff over three burning heads. Okay. All right, it's great. I'm just gonna go look at the internet again because I mean I've, I've been cheating this much. And now the phone. What is this one? Oh, right aid. Okay. Don't let the machine get that. It, it's a machine. It's talking to a machine. They might uh, they might as well talk to each other. Okay, it's warp. I like it. Now the only the only problem I have with the pass forward is I could have swore I tried this already. Maybe you have to do it at a certain point. Okay, comrade, let's see what you can do. Chop put? Hey, it's round, isn't it? Now get putting. Put chop chop put. Zavago. <laughs> Get Putin? Get Putin. I was trying for the vine. Oh, come on, stop it. I'll zoop. So the idea here is, is that we get across. But since the checkpoint's on the other side. We can grab the scorpion food. Freaking up the scorpion food again. Hope I don't get stung. Tag the okay, checkpoint. Okay, now can you maybe remember what I'm holding? If you want to die right, you got to do everything yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! No! Get off! Hog bag. Am I dead? Not anymore. That checkpoint brought you back to life. Oh, I know what I have to do. You have to throw it across? Pot shot shot pot. I was really speed reading the internet, so it's. Rasenko! So now when I go over here and go blink. Now we got past. Dog bag. Whoa, I could swear I was just stung to death by low red scorpions. Oh, you were. But your video game checkpoint brought you back to life. Cool. And hey, I've still got the scorpion food. Uh, maybe I should just get out of here. So then you go back. Uh, to the peasantry. By the way, there's a lot of other stuff in here to unlock and do different things. Load P quest, comma eight, comma one. It's quite complicated. I should have just warped. But this looks cool. So now we go back to the map. The peasantry in. Like I like how it's structured. I think you know the the, the, the puzzles are interesting. I'm Art, not. Who goes there? I think like a couple oh, places gee. are. Okay, here's that quest thing you sent me out for. Um, are you sure this is the quest item? Of course, it looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold, the quest item is recovered. Oh, man, this is gonna be good. Ah, help! Strong man, did you give me scorpion food? 
Ah, maybe. Who remembers anymore? So now we go back to the peasantry forest. Hey, Pixel Man! My name and physical appearance are rather dashing. Guess what? Your moment of destiny has arrived! The Munchox is attacking the princess! A princess? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> are you sure? Positive, man! Now get your short pants over there and rescue her! Well, I... that is my duty. I suppose I should be off then. To rescue the princess. Very well, take me there. <sighs> Okay, this is this is not aged well. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. That the whole I'm not gonna go into it, but this is this is not aged well. Help! Help me! Never fear, O oh fair <coughs> maiden! I am here to save you! I'm not a princess, I'm an evil wizard! Oh, really? If you're a wizard, then I don't need to save you. Roar! Roar! No, wait! I'm a dual-class wizard princess! See my pretty princess hat? Please, help me! This is not well, equal! Well, if a princess you are, then save you I will. Stand back. Wait, is that scorpion bait you have? Yes! What should I do? Get rid of it, stupid... Uh, fair maiden! <laughs> Wow, saved by a real-life adventurer. I suppose you want me to be in your party now. Well, actually, I was just going and to... I can be your spellcaster. And we could explore the evil salt marshes and kill orcs and rats. Actually, I was just going to stand around in the forest some more. Nonsense. I can see it now. I can add bard talents and chronicle our adventures. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful, beautiful friendship. friendship. Well, most Ouch! Poor guy would have done better against Trogdor. <laughs> so, now we can go to the ah, pet. He'll burn us all! There he is! The one with the Trog Sword! Join him! He'll protect us! No, I won't! No! Hey, get off! Quit that! Peasants have joined your party. Okay, fine. You guys can come with me. But don't touch any of my stuff. Well, all right. What? Where'd he go? Here, Trondor. Come here, boy. I just got a cool sword I wanted to show you. Crap. He got away. If those screaming peasants were right, his lair's underneath the castle. I'll have to make my way through these seemingly endless hallways to get down to the dungeon and take him out on his home turf. Trogbad, you read me? According to my intel, Trogdor is at the end of these seemingly endless hallways. Homestar, what are you doing? Just delivering your mission objectives. I already did that just fine without your help. Oh, oh I see. Well, can you do this? Hey, cut it out! What did you do to my camera? Man up, soldier! Your free country is depending on you! The people, give him the one down! Use okay. Right mouse button to use his current weapon. Okay. Oh no. All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo. All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo. How do I open the door? That was it. Didn't I use an ammo. All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo. I like this, but how do I... 
open the door. Where's help? Did you see what it what it said? Oh, just click on it. Okay, you can still click on things. Oh, so you're gonna play dirty, Trogdor? Sending one of your space circus catastrophe clowns at me? Well, who can play at that game? Man, how big is this castle? One of Trogdor's minions! A fiendishly difficult polynomial equation. They really should break this place up with a potted plant or something. Algebras! Factor this! A secret passage! This'll get me to Trogdor twice as fast. Since this castle's like a jillion miles long, apparently. Get him out! So, at last we... Hey, no fair! You're supposed to wait for my speech to end before you go starting any boss fights. Let's activate the peasants! I better not. Trogdor can smell a peasant at like 20 furlongs away. Okay, so this is a little bit Castle Wolfenstein -y to the point of humor. It's Nebulon! Limousine's second greatest nemesis next to Alternative Rock! Like, there's no actually beating things, it's just click on it. Okay, wait a minute. Now that's one shot. Der Poopsmith, how free to say. Okay, that was funny. Finally, I've reached another room that looks just like all the other rooms. Could have at least added a torch or something. <laughs> Trogdor, the fruit of my skills of an artist. And now it comes down to this. The epic battle. The final confiscation. The last cutscene. Okay, is this a matter of now we use the peasants? Trogdor's almost dead. I'm not gonna waste a perfectly good peasant right when I'm about to win the game. Okay. Cutscene. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. You came to rescue me. Whoa, have you been walking out? How much do you bench? What are you... Whoa! I don't believe it! They finally listened to me! You look pretty ripped. And Rip Map! Check out all these polygons! <laughs> and this blade! I... I'm the best graphics ever made! Uh, strong bed. Must I'm kind of having a moment, Homestar. Don't interrupt. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, now what? How can I possibly kill a creature with so much majesty and so many repeated textures? Uh, uh oh, I'm screwed. Peasants? Run! Save yourself! <laughs> Man, so high res! Useless! Useless! Same sword? Dragon, I'm inflammable. Okay, so now you see. I just randomly did that. It actually kind of worked. How about that? Leads to riches. At least it looks like a track door to turn around. So then, what we do is we throw a peasant at him. That didn't work. So how do you have to turn around? Limousine! Okay. I know you want to. Just hanging around. Thanks, trying that. Pedestal? Okay, so if we pedestal... Look, Zenzel's peasant, and then he turns around. So then we, we set another peasant on fire. I hit him with it then. I don't see another weak spot. was all of them. There's one.
Okay, we have to have to get through the door. The key to the game is the key to the door. I just had the most pixelated dream, and you were there, and you were there, and... Uh-oh, you were there. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense. I needed a lot of help on this one, gang. I gotta admit, I think the humor was there on this one, but some of the stuff was just, uh, just a little bit non-obvious. You probably would say, yes, it absolutely was obvious. Well, good for you. That was just wonderful. Maybe I was, wasn't trying that hard, you know? It's Lieutenant Canker, sorry, there you go. We never did use the performing bear. But it could be some stuff in extended play. I did at least look out on getting using the red uh, thing to... There has to be more to do with the limousine space machine too. I know there's... There was a lot left on the on the ground on this one. There's a lot left behind. A lot, lot more to do. Maybe, just maybe, we'll do another playthrough at some point and try to really get everything. Mm, we'll see. Robo King of Town. I had to like. You had to like the uh, the reference to Wolfenstein there. What? One of the guys I work with has a Trogdor tattoo on his arm. Strong bad. <laughs> That pixel. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's Quake Strong Bad. What does the extended play look like? I'm in the middle. <laughs> We still have our... Okay. The internet said maybe they could fix the car. Go sleep this. Hmm, I wonder if Mr. Fix-It could fix it the car to actually run and go places. A box for Mr. Fix-It was stuck in the carburetor. That's the last time I trust Strong Mad's auto repair skills. Oh well, nice try, Mr. Fix-It. Back into my inventory. So, the reality is still broken, and yet not. And there's another thing with bubs. What's that sound? I don't think Mr. Fix-It can fix it. There was supposed to be something. Oh, another crate. Well, we know what to do with the crate. I'm at it, guys! 
There's probably an ancient relic in there or something. And I know you snakes love that kind of stuff. Round one, fight! Mortal Kombat reference. Our very own EGA question hat! I'll be able to do all kinds of stuff in this. Look stone, get brooch, talk barkeep. The possibilities are endless. They really are, they really are. You can go back to Stinko Man? What's the purpose? Is there any more questions? There's like totally no more questions. Peasant now? I think that inn might get more business if it had a functioning door. Nothing worth seeing in there anyway. Is this a glitch? Can we get the flask? Okay, try everything a couple times. It just might work. <laughs> Except, no. Wait a minute, no, trying everything a couple times sometimes works in this game. Why am I a peasant now? Why am I, or is this the, uh, what's his name? And he's not here, so now you get to play as rather dashing. What's left in the mainframe to try? Well, we ought to be able to actually play Drogdor now, right? But he should be back in his game. Although he's not. Door. Bigger and better than ever. Oh, you get to play as Trogdor. All right, this is pretty silly. Oh, well, the whole thing is pretty silly. I missed a couple. Okay, how can I get out of this? I can't even escape. Q? How do I escape? Is that to fail a level, maybe? I'm looking for the escape button. Population tragedy. 
Falcon Trogdor Burnin ate my flag! He and that snake holding a big knife are practically cousins! Yep, the concession stand is still there! There's no bugs. Well, I think all we've got left is like a lot of screwing around. I can't send the performing bear out into the wild for no reason. When he's ready to leave, I'll know. No, that means it, there's really no use for him. It's just... Is, is he still over here by the crates? No, it's... There's another crate to pop. It's like there's just an infinite number of these. Snakes on a crate. It's the box for the Videlectric's Half Athlon, voted best sports-related game by Videlectric's Power Magazine for three years running. I don't need a cheap rip-off respawn light musket. I've already got the much cooler original. Okay, can we put the snakes on the other crates? I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. Nope, no, nope, we can't. I mean, look, we just throw peasants? No. No, no. Eh! You know what, folks? I'm sure there's ways we can screw around with this and find more things and do more things. And we can go back to the House of Strong set here. The, strong, the House of Strong. And... Did anybody come home? Strongside's still washing all the Dangerous 3 costumes. Still like Dangerous 3 best, though. This had a lot of nice video game tropes. Another ghost in the frame? Wonder what's in the box that ghost was pointing out. No way! It's a limited edition, unreleased Cheat Commandos action figure! I don't believe it! This one is Swamp Slash, leader of the shady mercenary commando biker gang and book club, the Toppelgangers. So he finally has his Toppelganger. Couch, I think you should be in your own video game. Couch Quest, the search for my butt. Ooh, it's time for the eight-hour cartoon block of Videlectric Saturday Mornidio games! This is the one where some real-world kids get sucked into a video game. Ridiculous. Well, at least... I tell you what, I don't... This, this, there, there's a lot here where it's just like, I'm along for the ride, you know? You click... You drag. You drag and click. And so I don't know that it's the best choice for one of these kind of ride along with me with video games kind of things. Okay, there's already a box there. And we got all the boxes. A jibbly jibbly. They have some commentary on, but like this one, 
It's like, yeah, I recognize that. Yeah, I recognize that. I don't know how much, how much do can I add, really? You know, it's, it was fun enough. Not as fun. Okay, episode four takes uh, that takes the win though. I definitely liked, I like Dangerous Three better than anything else. This was a little more of a grind. It made sense. It included the fan service. There's the frog door. Yeah, we get to beat the frog door. The princess thing was funny yet odd and really didn't age well. And uh, on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. We're done here. We're done here. Okay, I'm back. It's not. It's not quite over. We're just gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna cruise around a little bit and talk about this. We can't, can't talk about this because while I'm playing this, I, I had to take a little time. It's still the same day and all that, but I, mean, I had to take some time and kind of absorb what the heck happened in this one because this is an internet thingy. Oh boy, this lava's red like me! Now here's a thing you couldn't see! I'm melting! I'm melting! Weird! Even for you! Back into my inventory! It's a red box. Another unreleased Chief Commandos figure! This one is Dry Ghost, the Doppelganger's Bad Seed, second in command. And he's still in the package. I'm gonna be so rich. See, there's a lot of just random stuff like this you can do, apparently. I'm not even sure what to make of a lot of it, but, you know, I'm not real familiar with a lot of it. Let's get rid of that music here for a bit. Better music. So, this one is probably been the most drag this on top of that in a specific order kind of game mode as far as all of, as far as the five of them are I mean the game even makes a joke that it's a put pie on cat game but you know they're all all the episodes are that way but this one it was really out there I'm not sure why and you know you just had to know certain things you know it's the, the tea bag thing completely faked me out. Did not know that was a tea bag. I'm thinking it's Sam Adams. He said he invented a beer. Am I supposed to find a beer? Then I'm looking for a tea bag. Is there anything else we can do with that red thing? No way. Apparently not. On the couch? Uh, no. On the TV? Nope. On the box? On the thing where the truck door used to be? Did I just walk around with this out? I won't do stuff? anything interesting. Nope. I won't go up the stairs. I got to get rid of it. Okay. What about on the tarantula? That looks like there'd be hidden stuff there. And this is what the game makes that you won't do. do anything interesting. A lot of randomness. Nah. No way. What about on the game itself? Uh, no. Which is the nature of the game. And, no, I didn't want to go down the bit. Oh. Back up! No, back up! Back, back up! Back, it's silly. There's a lot of this. I feel like I've let you down in Episode 5 here because so much of it is kind of on rails where you have to go from one thing to another until I figured out how to get the one crate open, which I guess I should have thought put snakes on box and then use... Uh, Snake punch guy. I mean, I was trying to do something like that, but none didn't seem to work in a lot of other cases, so why would it work in that case? This is where Strong Sad dreams of impossible things. Like having friends. But it's red. Does that mean we can look at his bed in red? Nah. Uh no. 
That, those might have been the only things that no. actually work. Like, if I didn't look up on the internet, how do you know to look at the, no the lava? Way. I mean, it's just the loafing sign. That won't do anything interesting. Strong bad, was it? Oh, I missed it out, but we already did that. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to shoot the, the gun for no reason. Doesn't do much. Like, I'm sure there's some stuff. Like, what are we going to do with the limousine bus? Is there any Yo, limousine! I got something to beam up here! Wow, strong man! The space machine only beams up the babes! Like, you can do that all day long, but you're not gonna... There's no more babes to beam up, I don't think. I remember there was something you could do over here. Huh? Like if you called in the peasants. There's supposed to be a mystery bush. Like, the game is a lot of this. The game is a lot of... Ah, Mysterious Bush. Well, before we do the, the thing... Hmm, another Mysterious Bush. Mysterious because it's not burning. So if you use this on that... See! Boy, I'm really kind of struggle for, for what... Um, why are you going all the way over here? Come on. Come here, come here, back to back. This is a game that's best suited for screwing around and entertaining yourself. Good job helping me with Trogdor, peasant. Go run off and start a commune, or whatever it is you guys do. Okay, everybody saw that I didn't mean to do that. All right, it's subterfuge. Easily the manliest and most mysterious of the topple gangers. And Krakotage's evil twin! Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? With that kind of chest hair? Does it even matter? <laughs> so the game has endless replay value with just scurrying around. Is this a good video game to make video game content with for your YouTube channel? Uh... I'm thinking not. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm uploading this way in the future as far as this gets concerned. Maybe uh, maybe it'll be fantastic. You never know. But if you're a fan of this, well, I mean, if you've gotten to this video, you've already watched the rest of it. What do you think? I mean, was this you know, this is good as my GTA content? And let's just say this: was it any good? I don't know. I felt at a loss for words for a lot of this. No, why did you put it back? Come here. Come back here, you. Come on. Come here, ghosty. You're gonna pop up again. You notice it's no longer a uh, a muzzle loader. Where's the ghosty? How do I trigger the ghosty? Did he even come back? The 
truck door machine, coming back. See, this is kind of stuff you can do all day long. And eventually you'll unearth things. Like I might have to unearth a lot of things because I don't think, uh, you think there's some stuff here missing because I didn't, uh, I didn't use the, the detector to its fault. Of course, maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to research that. Well, like, would you like to watch me walk around with a gun out and wait to shoot ghosts? Probably not, I'm guessing. And that's what, it's fun to do, but not necessarily, it's not necessarily, there, what was that? Oh, it's trying to do it. I have no problem shooting target. Do I have the sword still? I do. Can we can we sword uh put the sword out and get the track door or is he just outside the, the picture? The trog sword won't work on anything but the trog door. But he's right there. No, no he's not. He's he's just a decorator. So do I recommend the game? Yes, but does it come off that way? I don't know. Like I enjoyed playing the game. I enjoyed playing it at some times. You know, it's it. I think you actually have more fun with it if you go to the internet and, and just enjoy the humor. I mean, that's how I am with it. But I mean, you, you could, your knowledge may vary. Like here I am playing Ghostbusters. Like what? What are we doing here? The brick wall is red. Is this like a red thing? You can usually find Sonora card gauge reading through the pigeons behind here, but now there's just all these burnt chicken bones. I guess Trogdor must have scared them. Oh. All right, that was weird. So is that just a Here's a wall that's colored red. What's in this box fills me with dread. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. That's just needlessly creepy. Back into my inventory. Okay. Didn't you can usually... I guess... I did not expect that, but all right. And some little things like that. You can find stuff that's written into the game. It's the box for Jell Archie's Pro Fruit Porter. The free game I got for sending in a bunch of proofs of purchase. Free is right. Free of fun. What about the stick? The redness on the stick? Nah. No. That's no longer mysterious. What red on blue? Nope. I need a ghost. I, I really want to wrap this up shooting the ghost. It might be just decorative, so it might not do anything. What about the, the fence? Oh, wait a minute! It's the sound! Another ghost in the frame? What did the ghost want us to find? It's a good graphic Kateer's trading card. This one's for the reverse stainless steel French press trick in Jell Archie's Pro Fruit Border. I don't know if that actually works. And I've broken the game, so we can't really find out. Is the cool car look better in red? I won't do anything interesting. But you walked all the way over and got my hopes up, didn't you? Change car-esque. Full autopilot. Razor-tipped saw blade hubcaps. Injector hatch. And a top speed of zero miles per hour. Model shown with no equipment. I wonder if that's a Pinto or a Gremlin. I think it's a Gremlin. I think it's a Gremlin. 
Change top speed. I had a friend who had a like a, a harvest gold gremlin when he was in high school. I mean, we were in high school mid '80s, so th this was an old car by that point. But no way. I don't think we're getting to shoot the ghost. Ghosty! How rare does that pop up? I mean, the truck door is running all over the place. It's right here. Come on. I want to pop you with a blaster. So you can see it's fun to screw around with. This is a game that I might pick up periodically and just say, oh, can I find something cool? And the joy is in the finding something cool. Like if you're trying to make a video series, that ends up getting forced. You have to try and say, well, I want to make this video. And well, I can't spend the next six months trying to figure out how to get through this, so we'll just go on the internet and do stuff. But I mean, if you get, if you get this game, and if, you know, well, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Get this game. Just find it all for yourself. Because you've already seen it all here. Kind of too late, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll have to just make another video. And put that up before this as a warning. Now, look, watch this after you've seen done it so that you can watch how silly it is that I do it. But maybe that's, that's a thought. Because it's in the playing of the game you get the enjoyment. Not so much, you know, the watching of it, I think, maybe. Of course, if you enjoyed it, then, you know, I mean, I'm being too self-critical, but... Try your... Get back in there. Yeah. Try door! Get back in that game. The gun doesn't really affect him. On that note, ladies and gentlemen... This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.